If you've stumbled across this video, chances are you care about reaching people with the love of Jesus. But the question is, how do we do that online? And how do we actually put that into action in such a virtual reality that we are living in? While we're still in this pandemic and most of us are restricting our movement out of the norm, you might find it particularly difficult to actually put your faith into action right now. So this week we're offering some practical ideas for how you can do this, how you can put your faith into action and encourage others to do the same. I'm Sammy, I'm here with Digivangelism and we're here every single Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time, bringing you the latest digital ministry tips and trends to help you reach your people with the love of Jesus online. If that sounds of interest to you, be sure to subscribe below so you don't miss a single video of digital goodness. Let's get started. First up, time-focused action. No, your putting faith into action does not have to be just donating money in our virtual reality, our virtual world. Like, that's not the only way to do this. You could give something of yourself in a different way. Your time, your talent, your energy, even your prayers are a gift. But let's first zero in on the time idea. Some of us are finding ourselves with a lot less time on our hands these days, but some of you, some of us are finding ourselves with more time than we used to have because we're quarantining. We're not doing the things we usually do. So how can you take some of that time on your hands and your faith and put it together into action this Lent for the good of your greater community? One example that's really easy for a lot of people to do, especially if you're watching this video on social media, you're probably used to being on social media, is to engage with nonprofits, organizations, churches, ministries you believe in on social media. That's literally liking and commenting their stuff. It just expands their reach so they can impact more people with their message. And really this could be any or anyone, a faith leader, a non-faith leader who is just an activist, a pet shelter, a homeless shelter, women's shelter, organic farms, recovery ministries, really anything. Trust me, these organizations are going to appreciate your engagement that doesn't draw from their resources. They're not paying for ads. You're actually helping more people see their content without them even trying. So in a way, you're kind of working for them. You're helping them out, volunteering your time and turning your time and your faith into action. And again, this really is as simple as liking or commenting. Maybe you share some of their stuff on your feeds or just with a friend via a text or an email. You could also just listen to what they have to say, spend time on their YouTube channel, their podcast, or even give another one of their social media platforms a shot, something that you're not usually on, but you figure, well, I'll try it out in support of them. It's a great way to experience new things and give back to these causes that you believe in so much. Now, beyond social media, if you feel like you need to do more than just share a post or like a tweet or something like that, we've got some causes that might be good for you to check out. No, we're not sponsored by any of these organizations, just that they were cool and that we should share them with you. First, catchafire.org. Catchafire is on a mission to mobilize the world's talent for good. Their website's really easy to navigate and it helps people with talents help causes and nonprofits who are looking for people with those exact talents. This can be social media strategy, graphics design, language translation, really anything. Definitely check that out if you feel like you have some time on your hands and you want to just help someone do something. You want to give back a little this Lent. Alternatively, do something.org is another option. They're very similar to Catch a Fire, but they focus on youth focused projects. In fact, their website notes that they are the largest not for profit exclusively for young people and social change. And their membership represents every single United States area code and 131 countries. That's a lot of impact. There are tons of different campaigns you could get involved with on do something.org from racial justice endeavors to voter registration to environmental justice. You can even filter out what kind of actions are needed and what kind of time you have to commit. So check that one out too. Another space online that could benefit from some extra attention this Lent is your own platform, your own social media accounts, not you, but your church, your community, your ministry. Okay, and this isn't for you, like you probably have a lot on your plate right now as far as your church, your ministry, your community, like you don't need to add more to that, but this is something you can encourage your people to do. They can just like, comment, share, pay attention to, send people to your social media platforms, your website. This helps to get the word out about what your church is doing, about the gospel that your church is ideally sharing. This is all good stuff. Of course, for them to actually interact with the posts that your church is sharing, you, you need to be sharing some posts. So hopefully you know by now we post a ton of content every single week, helping ministries to be church online, share what they do online. Specifically two resources I wanna point you to is first this video we made last week about 17 caption ideas for your social media posts this Lent. So this is very relative to right now. And also our Lent and Holy Week social media image pack, which is still on sale for $15 for 25 images for Lent and Holy Week and Facebook and Instagram. You'll be all set, you got what you need, you got the caption ideas, 
Schedule those posts so they're out of the way, you got some content, or even better, have someone else schedule them for you. And every time your people engage with these posts, it's just spreading the word about what your church is up to and the great love that you are following. Let's segue to some monetary focused actions that you can take this Lent and particularly Easter as well. Now, your church may be having some kind of Easter egg hunt. Probably not like tons and tons of kids running across your church lawn like normal, unmasked and all together and stuff. Ideally, you've got some precautions if you are doing it, or you've changed it up into a drive through or some kind of house by house basis. Even if you can't engage community children like you would normally like to this Easter, consider the ways you can support local families. For example, are there any organizations in your community or the nation that you would want to support? You could even replace doing an Easter basket this year with your family or with your church family and instead fill a basket with food or supplies for a family in need. Another space you can consider focusing some of your action this Lent is on Texas storm relief. There's certainly a lot still needed in Texas to help them recover from where the February storm put them. You could just give money or perhaps sponsor some material donations, food, clothing, building supplies. Any way you can help is going to go a long way to help those that were impacted by this disaster. Now those are just a couple examples. Obviously there is a ton of need, especially with this last year of the pandemic that we've all been living through. And there are probably a lot of ways that are really unique to your community, your or local environment, your church even, that you could reach beyond your walls and impact people for good and share that love of Jesus that we're all here to share. We're here to encourage you to be church online and part of being church is serving others. So whether we're doing that online or offline, let's make sure to not only build that into our church communities, our lifestyles, but also our digital ministry presence. That's it for today, friends. If this video was helpful at all for you, please be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss a single future video of other digital ministry goodness to come. Share it with a friend if it was helpful and we'll put all the links in the description below so you can find any of those sites that we mentioned earlier. And once again, we brought the knowledge, but now it is your turn to put it into action. So please put it into action. That's a huge part of our faith as Christians. And yes, the pandemic can make it feel kind of limiting, but there are so many ways that you can put your faith into action, even virtually. Peace.